and say I do I wanna go down this road with you All the highs and lows with you You walking in your barefoot with pink mascara In your cup up when you start to Hello guys, welcome to Boxing Block Center The home of Nigerian African Boxing And please, if you're new to this channel Make sure you click the like and of course the sub Subscribe button right now Let's go to the uh, bell icon click it and select all okay please select all don't forget that so i drop a new banger a new exclusive video you will definitely be notified let's get straight to it without hesitation so we have a new held uh we have a new sheriff in town the chief of uh Joshua's uh Aters Association Club. Um he goes by the name Carl Frush. Okay. Carl Frush the Cobra. Uh if you're not a boxing fan, you should know him. But if you're a casual fan or someone that doesn't really like that watch boxing from time to time, not really that much, you won't know who he is. Because it's not really known outside the UK like that. You know, as of the UK is anonymous, basically. So, Joshua and Frosch, they have history. Um, they were together in the GB squad. You know, jo Carl Frosch has always been, I don't know, he, he, he said he, he, he's a friend of Joshua, but each time he talks about Joshua, there's always been this hidden jealousy or this hidden you know, envyness or just something like about Joshua that pisses Carl Frosch off even though that pisses him off even though um him and Joshua were very close at, at a point. Now, this is what Carl Frosch had to say. He said that Joshua uh career and achievements uh don't even come close to his. Now I don't wanna like be you know, sometimes I want to bash, I want to bash people like this, but I'm just going to read what you have to say and then we have to like uh, analyze it, see whether it's right or wrong. But I'll tell you right now, the legacy of Joshua is far bigger than the legacy of Carl Frosch. If you're from the UK, you might say, yeah, Car like the biggest name on Carl Frosch resume, um, is just uh, just gross right he got beat by andre ward and that defeat to andre ward still still kind of hurt him to this day now kafra said this i quote i don't think anthony joshua's legacy can be compared to mine you have to look at who you fought what level you fought at the timing of the people you fought and how many of beaten fighters you've beaten okay joshua beat charles martin who is a nobody that was gifted his title and an old vladimir klitschko who had been sat on the sofa for the best part of two years came out of retirement and nearly beat him he beat joseph parker and alexander poetkin but i'm not being funny joseph parker isn't bad but he's not an all-time everywhere and Povetkin wasn't bad, but he was past his best. The record and the names just doesn't stack up. <laughs> I love you, Vietnamese. I think our French is talking absolutely, absolutely shite. Like the British would say. Absolute shite. I tell you right now. Carfrosh's biggest name. Let's go look at Carfrosh's resume. 33 wins, 24 knockouts, 2 losses. His, big, the, the, his biggest win. Let's look at the names. Uh, well, looking at it right here, just gross. This is his biggest win. He has two losses. A loss to Mikael Kessler and to Andre Ward. This is the the, the loss that really haunts um, 
car flush mode though. This Andrew Ward loss hurts him so bad. So, of course he beat John, John Pascal, I know that. But John Pascal is not a bigger name than George Groves. Okay, he might be a better fighter though. So the biggest name on his resume is just Groves. Maybe the the best win is against uh, John Pascal because John Pascal was undefeated at the point. But let's keep it right here, bro. Now, if we should take a look at Joshua's resume, Joshua's resume. Now, bro, these are big names. These are names right here. Okay, let's just leave these ones out. You know, this was when it was coming up. So let's go Dillian White. Dillian White was Joshua's first ever test. Or let's, you cannot say Kevin Johnson because, yeah, you can say Kevin Johnson as a, because Kevin Johnson was proud to Joshua fighting, beating Kevin Johnson. He, he had never been stopped. That basically, Joshua was, was, is the first man to stop Kevin Johnson. Kevin Johnson is not a big name or anything like that. He's big. He's a big name, but he's not like as a as a fighter that comes to survive. Okay, Joshua's first ever test was against Dillian White, a guy that beat him in amateurs, and Joshua cleaned him out in several rounds. Next fight he fought Charles Martin. Okay, Dillian White was undefeated. Charles Martin undefeated. Tommy Brazil undefeated. Oh, uh, Joseph Parker undefeated. And original with one loss. Probably one loss. So, the fighter Joshua has fought, like, listen, I will tell you right now, Andrews Jr. alone, this, this win of Andrews Jr., I think he's the most significant win in Joshua's career because I will tell you right now, the way Joshua got uh, stopped um, in that fight, um, in the first fight, it like it it like it was like everything was over. The 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 the, the, the trials and tribulations Joshua have gone through, Carfresh had never gone through that. And the people Carl Frost fought, other than Andrew Ward, the rest are not seen as, they are not great fighters, bro. They are good fighters. They are not great fighters. Joshua have Povetkin. Povetkin is a great fighter. Andrew Jr. is a great fighter. Joseph Parker is a great fighter. Defeating Deontay Water and Jan Gilei says a lot yeah just forgot like got stopped by uh joe joyce but still joe uh Daniele beat joe joyce go stop him twice vladimir klitschko is an all-time great fighter it's funny how car fraud will say yeah klitschko like uh sat on his sofa uh on, on, on the sofa for two years without doing anything so yeah Klitschko sat on, on the sofa for two years and was in was in tremendous shape when he fought Joshua. Klitschko was in a, was in a better shape than than the, the when he fought Joshua than he was when he fought Fury. So Carfrosh is talking absolute shy, and both careers are not even listen. Joshua's achievement alone in the game that win against Klitschko goes down in the history of boxing, or like. I don't I don't see any car frosh win that goes on the history of boxing. You might say the Josh Groves, you know, fight. Well, Josh Groves is is who? He's a nobody, bro. Let's keep it right here. You know, I think car frosh live in a bubble, in a bubble because in the UK now, you know, when you live in the UK, you think I think even the UK or even the British the British people don't even think they're in Europe anyway. They think they're like outside you. They think they're just their own people. Their own, their own, they're basically their own, <laughs> their own, uh, I don't know, like they're their own entity basically. They don't, they, they don't relate to Europe like that. They don't think they are, they are in Europe. So 
any achievement you have in the UK, you would think, oh, I'm the biggest in the world, the best since sliced bread and stuff like that. Hell no. Joshua's, Joshua's achievement outweighs Carfroch's achievement, and we continue to do so. Joshua's name will be remembered in the next 20 years, while Carfroch's name will be forgotten in the next three years. In fact, the car, nobody even talks about Carfroch, bro. Let's keep it right. Outside the UK, nobody mentioned this guy's name. Joshua's went through the hardest hardest basically time of his life joshua was written out by car Frost, by the way car Frost did car Frost said yeah joshua was gonna beat ungano but at some point was beginning to lean towards ungano i mean i watched the interview he he, he was like oh maybe ungano will do something all those guys want to see joshua wanted to see joshua lose to ungano think every all every a lot of these boxes thought ungano will be Joshua but that's not the case I will say this to Carl Frosch. Joshua's legacy outweighs your entire existence and we continue to do so even if Joshua retires now he will be remembered in the history forever while you on the other hand have already been forgotten let's keep it right here bruv you live in your own bubble you are a good fighter. You were, you was a good fighter, definitely, no doubt. I can I cannot say you was a trash fighter. No, no, no. He was a good fighter. But comparing his resume to that of Joshua, uh, no, he's not close. So, uh, it's funny how you try to like weigh yourself in into the big boy like. You're not a, you're not an everywhere, bro. You're not you're, you're not like you're not significant, basically. You're just a fighter that people respect because you was a warrior, and I respect warriors. Other than that, you're really nothing. And I believe believe you me, you don't beat <laughs> you don't even beat Dominic Brazil. Dominic Brazil, as trash as he as he is, but of course he became trash when Joshua knocked him out, right? When Joshua, Joshua, remain, Joshua was the first guy to beat up Dominic Brazil. As trash as Dominic Brazil is, you don't beat him. All those guys think, oh, it's just easy. You are not even one of those on Usyk. Usyk, I can understand because Usyk is a different animal. You are not Usyk, bro. So, anyways, um, what do you guys make of Carfroach or... Basically, Lambasti and Joshua's resume and career achievement, you know, all those kind of stuff. It's just tiring to see all these guys coming out of their woodwork and hating. That's why I think Joshua now don't really F with a lot of them. But it's good. Good. Uh, give it a toss below. Like the video, share, subscribe. Um, Yeah, what do you make of this? Do you agree with Craft Rush? Or do you think he's talking absolute shite? And um, Carfrosh is just an egomaniac person. You know, that is what it is. Love you, love you guys. Share, subscribe. God bless you.